So where did you learn how to make a fire? As a little boy, the aptitude for cultural development was always within me. And at the age of seven, I started when my godfather, who was a cakewalk dancer, um, who was a, um, what you call, it a tailor, and made me my first clown suit. I went to Guyana in 1972, led the first Carrie Festa in Guyana as a dancer. 81 in Barbados as well, led that and trained them. And 79, when the ship came here to take us to Cuba, wherever I took sickly there before, but I was the person who trained them. So it's always within me. So cultural development is always a part of my DNA. Yes. So and, and the five, the five is essential because this is an important aspect of our cultural development. The, it, it, it brings out the true value of our cultural heritage. Culture is a lifestyle of a people, and we tend to more deal with the more indigenous aspect of our cultural heritage. Now, the five aspects I learned as a historian and having several businesses within the present day, I have a business. The, Zach's Historical Cultural Library and Museum up at Buckley's. It was on Central Street at one time. I've been to Connery and at Jaws. The, you need to visit that place because it is the best museum in the world. The <laughs> thing is, it has everything, and you have the doctor there to explain to you. You need to come there sometime next week and see what it entails. The, the five, as I indicated, is an integral part. The original thing we had was the bamboo. Mm. It's a tree. And you see how beautiful this is looking? Mm -hmm. Because it takes a lot of work to get it done. We have three types. In fact, the bamboo, the PVC, and the iron, the iron pipe. There's a guy who blew five in England, and he sent back the five for me, the metal five but somebody stole it. Oh, no. Wow. But, but however, the, the, the bamboo, you see you cut it from the bamboo tree, the mostly um, prevalent in the wing field area. Now, the bamboo is significant because you have to take the, it's two types of bamboo. You have the he bamboo, and you have the she bamboo. This is a she bamboo. If you see it in the original state, it's just a piece of a bamboo. So you have to take it, you have to sand it, you have to cut out the nuts, which in the, the, the she bamboo have less nuts. Mm -hmm. If you notice, only one nut was in this. Mm -hmm. With the he bamboo, you got about nearly 10 nuts would have been in this section. Mm -hmm. And it's harder. You have to use a shovel with the iron, three different sizes, quarter inch, three eighths, and a smaller quarter inch. And you have to take the hot iron, put it in the fire, the coals fire, the wood fire. Mm -hmm. And it gets, you have to wait until it gets extra, extra hot. Red, 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 red. Mm -hmm. And you take it and you push it through to move the nut inside. Use the biggest one. Mm -hmm. You shove it right through. Because when it's hot, it goes through, like it's going through butter. Mm -hmm. You see the lot of smoke coming out. But first, before you do that, you have to mark it out. You get this one, mm -hmm. you put it down. This is the hole that you, you blow, blow into. into. Mm -hmm. And then you have six notes. Mm -hmm. Right? You have to finger it. You use it with your fingers. Anyhow, the, the, the young guy here, he came out of a workshop recently, and he was blowing yesterday for the, for the what you call it, the string band. We were out yesterday. Mm -hmm. And he also blew for the... Mummies, we're going to get a troop of bull come up today from St. Paul's. Girls are playing there today. Oh, great. And doctor and so. Mm -hmm. So I should have been down there already. But the, um, the bamboo really, you hold it like this. Mm -hmm. But he will demonstrate that. I'll, I'll leave that to him. You understand? You're blowing here. Now, when you get this done, 
Normally, if you are, I have a better five, I'm going to show you in the back that a guy did in the workshop, a lovely, smooth, nice piece of five. And you have to take your time with it, it's like a baby, and you have to nurture it, you have to, to cut off the edges, you have to sand it, you have to put the, the hot iron inside, and then the holes now, when you boil the hole, you have to take the iron, as I say, red hot, you make the biggest hole first, go through, and then you bring it around a little because it will be burning the mm -hmm. hole. Today, Rashawn will be giving us a live demonstration of how to play the fight. So, the six notes, yeah, we blow and play. Ahead, so that's the scale? Yeah. yeah, that's the scale. And how did you learn to play? Did it take a long time? No, only a month. Only a month? Only a month. So all your students take a month to learn how to play, or he's an expert? The uh, one month is the most dedicated time because mm -hmm. you have to go through the, um, you have to take time. And my workshop is a very serious workshop. The Zach's, um, what you call, summer program. Mm -hmm. And it's sponsored by Delil Walwin over the years. Delil Walwin mainly and other sponsors, including the Development Bank. For the past seven years now, Development Bank comes on board mm -hmm. with us. The workshop is held at my place up at Buckley's. And as I indicated, it's a whole month mm -hmm. from 9 to 1, Monday to Friday. Mm -hmm. You have to be there every day because it's important. The dedication, the application, the inspiration and the motivation is important. Mm. And the, 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 um, you must be disciplined. If you're not disciplined, you can't play. Mm -hmm. Because I'm very serious when I'm, when I'm preparing the music. If you're not disciplined, you have to hold your road and go. You're either in here because perfection we deal with in today's world, more technological and everything, not like the old time days. And when we have YouTube and all sorts of things now, so it's important that you set certain standards. Mm -hmm. And when they come in there, they have to, you show them how to make, make the five. Mm -hmm. Now, inside here is important. If you look carefully in here, you'll see a piece of cork. This rum cork, you call it. You have to take it and cut it down and shove it in. It must be forced in, no space. And then you have to adjust it to get the pitch. Correct. But you can shove it here to go back or you bring it forward. As you blow, you get the height. Mm -hmm. So the, the, the Cork is important. This so, is the bamboo. Right. So that's the bamboo one, and this is this the, the bamboo. PVC. This is the PVC. The PVC is, you see, a bamboo five is very expensive. And not only that, when you go in the mountain, listen to me carefully. It's a scientific thing about these five. You cannot cut it in moonlight night. Mm. You must cut it in dark, in the dark night. Because if you do that, you will have the five powdery and then it just disintegrates. It just, it's like a fence. When you're cutting those bamboo fence, you must cut it in the dark. Mm. And it's dangerous because when you cut the bamboo, you can't stay behind it because it sometimes kicks back. It could cut your throat. It's <laughs> sharp like a razor when you see it kicks back. Mm. So you have to be very careful. It's a work of art. Mm -hmm. yes. And you have to shape it, take your time. And I have a nice one I'll show you later. Okay, so yeah, can so you tell us a little bit more about the training program? Is it just for what age groups do you normally use? We normally see? use some grade from three. Grade three? Be two if you have this lesson. Oh, two, two years old. Yes, we took, people came in the workshop from three years old. Three years old. Yes, and they was with us up until then. And they learned how to play? Just like Not that. only the five, mm -hmm. but the banjo, mm -hmm. the guitar, the quarter up to yesterday, we went out to be. We had on our butt eye and, and long sea white shirt. So we have to invite him back with the whole band. We were, we were there yesterday. All yes, yesterday. We, well, we want to see you on Good Morning. We're coming back this Friday. Time. Friday, we're going to be in town again. Okay. Friday all morning. Right. It would be nice. All right. But, but the, um, the, the five is integral. Mm -hmm. It's important. And most of the bands now haven't got five us. So the next... and. I want to give thanks to Mr. William Ferdinand Doe. One day he sent Father Cassius to call me. He said, make sure you see that man. I want to see him because 
he looked at me on television a lot, he said, and he admired me. And he gave me, two years ago, $8,000. And that was to buy all my instruments. He's a new vision. And he said, this, um, what you call Chinese thing that we buy overseas, we prefer to see the more authentic thing. And I bought them from Nevis. Nevis make them, the quattro, the banjos and so, mm -hmm. and fix up all my instruments, he tell me. But last year, he decided, look, call me back by myself. And as I go inside, he signed a check, 4,005. That's one thing with him. And we took, I took a guy who came to the workshop, very good. Mm -hmm. And he did the workshop. He, I paid him $350 per week. That's $1,400 out of so the... So you're saying that because of this investment, you were able to continue... But Willie Doe is 96 years old right now. That's been shot well. That's amazing. And he, look what he did. He told me, he said, I am going to give $1,000 to the winner. Second prize, $750. Um, third prize, $500. And I had Pamela Walls Judge and Miss Condell too. Oh, so you had a look. competition? Yes. Okay, so before we go on break, we're just about to break. We're almost out of time. Can you play us something? Yeah, play something. Just something, Shah, to don't take play. us don't into play. the break. Don't, don't be shy. Don't be shy. Don't it's just us. Friend. 